Hey everyone, it's Michelle at Be Rejuvenated. Welcome and welcome to our new listeners. Uh, We're happy to have you and thanks for rejuvenating here with us where we believe in our comfy corner of the world, real beauty equals inner beauty. So today I want to make a quick video and talk about beliefs and when it feels hard to believe a new belief or a new story that you're telling, um, what an easier thing is to do instead of trying to build a belief and forcing yourself to believe it. So let's just get into it. When we are trying to change who we are and we are trying to build new beliefs about ourselves and who we are um, now and what are some, you know, the things that we want, that type of thing. Um, Oftentimes in the beginning, it's hard to believe the beliefs because they're not actually happening just yet. You're not seeing evidence of it yet in your 3D world. And because we are so used to believing in what's going on in the 3D world and thinking that that's where power lies, um, we have a hard time. So we doubt ourselves and we feel like an imposter. And sometimes it does feel like hard work. Sometimes it does feel like forced. And you don't want to force anything. Um, that's not at all what manifesting is about. And in fact, Neville Goddard has said, you know, don't go trying to pop a blood vessel, trying to make it so, you know, um, in fact, it's the quite, it's the opposite. And what, this is what I want to um, bring to you today, which makes it so much easier and you feel so much more relieved. And that is to, instead of trying to bang your head against the wall, trying to believe it and hammering in these constant affirmations all day long, um, leaving feeling you exhausted, what you want to do instead is get into a state of assumption. You want to assume Okay, and what do you want to assume? You want to assume that the wish is already fulfilled, that it's already done, that you are already who you want to be, that you already have the thing that you want or the person that you want or the relationship that you want, whatever it is, a material object. You already want to go forward and assume it's done because Neville also said to desire is to have. So now when that desire comes upon you and you have that strong feeling that you really want something, again, that is your inner being, your God, your imagination inside communing with you, telling you it is already yours. It's been given to you at that moment. So when you have something, you're not looking for it. It's already there. You already have it. So you're not trying to figure out when is it coming? Why isn't it coming? When it, how is it going to come, you know, and whether, again, whether it's a thing or a person or a relationship, whatever it is. So we want to just get into the state of assumption. Okay. Because again, I mentioned in previous video that there are two states to actually be in, and that is the state of desire and the state of fulfillment. And so of course we want to be in the state of fulfillment. You want to just automatically know in your mind Even if it hasn't come yet in the 3D world and you haven't seen it yet, you want to just keep persisting in your mind with the thought and the belief, the thought, knowing I have it. It's already done. It's already happened. I'm already that person that I want to be. I'm already in that relationship that I want to have. I um, already received my approval or my acceptance into a school or I, I got the job or I received that money that I was looking for or I got this problem resolved. So, it, it, you know, it, the list goes on and on. You can pick anything you want. It works for everything. Um, so that is where it gets so much easier, okay? Because once we stay, we stay in that feeling of fulfillment and we assume that it's already done, you know, when those you know, doubts start to pop up, you know, this is where you can stop yourself and say, wait, nope, it's already done. I already have it. 
I'm already that person that I want to be. As far as I'm concerned, it's already done. You know, it's too late. Sorry, it's already done. It's already happened. So that, I hope, would help you to um, just make things a lot easier because there are so many techniques out there and there are so many coaches out there that are trying to teach you so many things. And, uh, you know, no way am I, you know, knocking anyone for the techniques that they use or anything like that. But this, by far, is the absolute simplest way You don't have to sit down for hours of affirmations. You don't even have to listen to, you know, all night long subliminal, you know, um, meditational tapes. You don't have to um, really do much of anything else except assume that it's done, you know. And if you want, you can visualize in your mind, you know, we always have a few minutes waiting for something, take those few minutes and close your eyes and just, you know, visualize it being done, you know, see yourself in the end, you know, go straight to the end because the end is where it begins, where everything begins, go straight to the end. Okay. Don't try to figure out how and when and who all of that will come to you when you go straight to the end. It must, it is law. Once you assume the wish is fulfilled, everything comes to you, all of the how, okay? And that's just your inner being, you know, working in in a way that you couldn't even figure out, okay? And that's why it's so important. Just relax and trust and know that when you are knowing it's done, okay, which is your only work. Your only work is to see the end, know it's done, you already have it, you know, and you're already like moving on to the next thing. That during that time, it's already accomplished in the fourth dimension, in your imagination, okay? And now the bridges of events are unfolding in order for it to appear in your 3D, okay? Your reality. Because remember, your imagination is is the only cause. And so... The 3D, our reality, it takes time to update. So don't go checking for it, you know, and like assuming it's done and now you're turning around and you're looking at your bank account and looking and saying, well, where's the money? Or where's my car? Or where's that person, you know, that I want to be in that relationship with? No, it does, you know, what you want to do is you just keep assuming no matter how anything looks in your world, no matter what circumstances are appearing and you persist that it's done. Because it takes time. There's a buffer of time from the time you imagine it and know that it's done to the time that it unfolds and appears in your 3D world. And that's actually a great thing because sometimes we might want things that may not necessarily be the best for us and it gives us time to change our minds or, you know, anything like that. So just don't panic. Don't freak out. If you're not seeing any movement, because sometimes even there doesn't have to be any movement in your 3D and it's still going to, it's manifest. The only thing that you have to do is just assume that you are already the person you want to be, that it has already happened and it's already done. Okay. Don't sit there and try to, you know, convince yourself or force yourself to believe a new belief if you're having a hard time once you've you know, started to tell yourself the new story or you're even having a hard time coming up with what the new story would be, okay? Don't worry about it. You never need to worry about anything because remember, you are the operant power. So you essentially are like the god of your world and what you think, what you feel, what you assume to be true today is what your tomorrow will be also. So if any, you know, undesirable circumstances or opposite circumstances pop up along the way, ignore them because they were just old thoughts and beliefs from doubts or insecurities that you may have had that have already been thought, okay? Don't worry about them. Just keep persisting. It's done. I already have it. I'm already the person I want to be. 
You can even say something as quick as like, if you start to feel that doubt, oh, thank you. It's done. It's done. Thank you. I am so happy it's done. I'm so happy I have it. I'm so happy that I am the person that I want to be. And even you can go to sleep at night, just thinking those few thoughts before you drift off into sleep and your inner being, your supreme imagination will go to work while you're sleeping because it never sleeps while you physically sleep. And it devises the means in the way to unfold your desires because your 3D, uh, uh, your imagination, excuse me, your imagination never judges you, okay? It gives you exactly what you're asking for and what you know to be true and what you are, okay? So if you know you are already that person or you know you already have that thing, then that's it. You've already given the command to your inner being to go to work and devise the means it's already done. You're just, now you're just, you know, going forward in your life and just letting your inner being do the work and having it unfold through bridges of events in ways that you would never see it coming. You would never think that a certain person, place, thing, event, or resource would ever come into play to fulfill your desire. So that's all I have for today. Uh, I just wanted to just kind of just give you a pep talk and um, just try to help you find a way when you're feeling like you're having a hard time believing in the new story you're telling for yourself, you know, and it's starting to feel like it's work and it's exhausting. So that's it. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day and you go forward with this relieving piece of advice. Um, I know that everything you desire is already yours and you already have it. So just relax, enjoy your life, have more fun. Okay, everyone. I love you all. I can't wait to talk to you again and rejuvenate together. Thanks for being here with me and taking time out of your world to be in mine to rejuvenate together. I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Make it a great one. Love you. Bye-bye.